Welcome back. Um, now I'd like to take a quick little run through the course syllabus. Um, I'm not going to probably read the whole thing to you, but you should check it out and, and make sure you understand everything. If there are any questions about it, again, please uh, send me an email or post it into the Blackboard discussion forum. That would be a good place if you have generic questions about it. Um, you'll notice again my office number is in Pioneer Hall 214. There's my phone number. I think my office hours um, are available on the Google Calendar link there. If they're not, let me know. I'll fix it. Um, I'm going to try to have some sort of online office hour. I'll let you know about that when I figure out when I'm going to do that. So uh, my guess is that I'll be pretty much paying attention to the discussion boards and answering emails so much that it kind of counts as an office hour, I suppose. Um, the course description again, um, I am assuming that you're non-programmers. Um, I might have a programmer in the class. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, they'll probably like the class. Excel VBA is a lot of fun. What's nice about this is all you have to have is Excel. Um, Excel, unfortunately, in the Macintosh Office 2008 does not have the VBA environment. Mac Macintosh Office 2004 does. That was kind of a screwball thing that Microsoft did. They removed that. So if you have the Office 2008 on the Macintosh, it's not going to work for you. You can, of course, run uh, Boot Camp or Parallels or something and install Office on your Macintosh if you want that. I do expect that you've got CIS 120 and 131 under your belt. Uh, 120 just for general familiarity with lots of computer programs. If you've got a a uh, low B or a C in that class, this might be tricky. This course would maybe be tricky. Um, CIS 131 for the Excel experience. If you don't have Excel experience, uh, I'm not going to say that this class is undoable, but you need to make sure that uh, you feel pretty comfortable with uh, doing lots of different things with software and you have a little bit of extra time on your hands. So I do expect you understand uh, Excel at uh, at least the 131 level. Uh, the outs outcomes for the class pretty straightforward. Uh, we're not shooting for the moon here. We're not going to be writing uh, the next great software application. However, you might find yourself uh, pretty handy around the office. If you have people who use Excel and they want you to automate something for them, there's a lot of demand for that kind of thing. You can save people a lot of time writing small programs in, in Excel VBA. Uh, we also will spend a little bit of time learning about the Excel object framework. Excel has a lot of different capabilities built in that you can take advantage of while you're programming with VBA. And I will concentrate throughout the term on trying to help you use appropriate programming structures and commenting your code and writing code hopefully that other people can read. Um, the whole notion of uh, just good practices for programmers. Uh, this is the first time I've taught this class online, so you'll notice the lectures here. The lectures are going to be largely done with videos, of course. I can't imagine how else I do them. Uh, the discussion will be in the Blackboard discussion forum. I will provide a variety of different exercises, kind of lab-like things, where I'll have you do things. And, and uh, then there will be other assignments where I'll just give you a description of what I want you to do, and you're on your own to figure out how to do it. The textbook is in the bookstore, hopefully. If it's not, let me know. <laughs> um, everything's going to be available online other than the textbook. Um, Microsoft Office, again, you can get Microsoft Office 2007. The Ultimate Steel is still available. That's 60 bucks, I think. And by the way, if you buy the Microsoft Office now, you do get a free upgrade to the Office 2010 when it ships in June. I think you can also get Microsoft Office 2010 as a beta download. I'm not sure how long that beta will last. Maybe it'll last until shipping. If it did, you might be able to use the Office 2010 beta all the way through to the end of the term, which would be free if you didn't have it. I'm using the Office 2010 beta, and it works great. So uh, if you wanted to download that and give it a shot because you don't have Microsoft Office yet, that would be something to consider. There will be a midterm exam and there will be a final exam. Um, at this point, I'm contemplating having a face-to-face -face final exam where you would arrange to come in essentially at your convenience, not at a particular time. But during finals week, 
Um, I'm seriously considering having you come in and do a two-hour final exam here in our computer labs. I know that some people will not be able to make it. I might have somebody who's not here, but we could probably figure out a proctoring situation for you or make some other type of arrangement. So keep that in mind, please. Um, that is a serious consideration on my part. Uh, lots of practice, 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 practice. Basically, you don't get better at something unless you practice. So we're going to have lab work and other practice opportunities. You notice the grading says lab work and practice is 30%. We're going to have you uh, posting your, your code as you work on it and go through the various exercises. The midterm is 30% and the final is 40%. So the midterm and the final exam are pretty important. So practice, 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 practice. Let's see now, what was I just saying? Uh, oh yeah, practice, practice, practice. <laughs> uh, uh, late work. Basically, I just want you to get everything uh, submitted uh, prior to the final exam. I'm not a big one on worrying about late work, but I do know from very long practice that students that put things off tend to wind up dropping the class or failing the class. So if you're not keeping up on your work, uh, you're, you should expect a disaster. <laughs> Um, so please try to keep up on the work. Like I say, the, the 15 to 20 hours a week is pretty much uh, pretty much a solid number. Miss exams, you can't miss an exam unless you tell me about it in advance. Um, I post grades in Blackboard on various assignments and whatnot if, if indeed there are, are things to be posted and uh, it's your responsibility to let me know if I mix that up or screw up a posting of some sort. Um, let me just say something about all the various practice you do. I'm probably not going to be looking at it very much. I will I will take a look at it every now and again just to see if indeed you are doing anything, but I'm not going to grade it. It's your responsibility to tell me you have problems. If you're having a problem with a particular assignment, you have to let me know. Um, you're the one taking the class, and so if you're having problems, you let me know. If you don't let me know, I don't know you're having problems. So it's your responsibility, so step up. Uh, student policies link is there on the syllabus. If you have any questions about that, click through, read it. Uh, academic honesty at the COCC is pretty clear. Basically, especially in an online class, we're expecting you to do your own work and not other people's work. And we're also expecting other people not to do your work. So please uh, be thoughtful about that. And especially if you do a face-to-face -face final exam and everything else in your whole life, all your postings and everything look wonderful and you come in and totally hose the final exam, then uh, there's some question as to whether or not you did the work. So please, uh, please don't have other people do the work for you. Okay, the ADA statement, the equal opportunity policy, if you have any questions about those, please let me know. And I think that's it for the syllabus. And you know what to do if you have questions. How many times can I say that? Alrighty then. Okay, well, goodbye.